Hi guys, so this is our help file for our distributed sweeps rollout. Um, so sort of getting started, the very first time you create a cyclone, everything's going to be disabled in here until you add a path. So let's just go do that. And as soon as you add a path, you'll see there's two buttons that have been enabled. Uh, that's a multiple pick box and the single picker for splines. And before we do that, let me just sort of open up the material editor here. Uh, the way this works is you apply a material to the spline itself. So if you look at this material, I have uh, thrown on here just some floor pavers. Oops. Uh, just some floor pavers. And we'll sort of look. This is a one-to-one -one mapping right now. So let's go add this to our cyclone. And we'll grab this and we'll add it to our cyclone. So one thing that we'll need to do is sometimes you'll need to adjust the uh, V mapping, which is up because we're actually figuring one to one is we're taking the width of our spline itself and that's where we're mapping the texture across the U. The V might need to be adjusted depending on your map. So once you've done that, then uh, it will not care what you have after that. You've set it up, you're done. If we make the spline longer, you do anything else to it, uh, it's gonna be fine. You create new splines. It's just gonna continue mapping with that size. So let's get rid of that. And what we'll do is we'll add in part of uh, these parts that we used in our spaceship uh, demo. So. Uh, we've added our main floor, and I actually want to flip this around. Uh, you could actually select this and go into rotate it around or use our little flip object here. So I'm going to flip that around. Um, you have basic steppings, so if you brought in a circle, you can actually adjust the subdivision, well, actually the interpolation steps of that individual shape. Uh, you have copy and paste fe features, which I'll show you in a little bit. What we'll do is we'll copy some information from one shape to another shape. Uh, if, you're, if your object comes in all as black, you might need to flip normals for it. And then there's a smoothing threshold. Uh, so that's your smoothing groups, and this is the angle of your smoothing groups. Uh, you have a shape offset in the beginning and in the end. So you can actually adjust those. And then you basically have your position, rotation, and scale of the object itself. Now some of these settings you can do for all your sweeps. So if you select the all up top, uh, for every sweep that you have in here, you can adjust its position, its rotation, and its start and end offset. All right, so let's go through and we'll throw in another shape here. So I'm going to pick this little trough that we're using for um, pipes. So that's going to come in right in the center. So what we might want to do then is shift this over to the edge. And I'll just lower this down. So it's that easy for sort of moving objects around. Um, and then we'll add in our next piece. So our next piece would be this other little tray for the um, drains or the grids. So we're going to take this one and we'll select that and we'll slide this out to, oops, slide it out to one of the edges. Now instead of bringing this in again, if I wanted one on the other side, all I need to do is actually go down here and there's a clone option. So I can say mirror to other side and it puts it on the other side. It's not centered so it has its own offset and it's simply used just like that. So there's not much to our um, tabs whatsoever uh, in the rollouts for sweeps. It's very, very easy to use. Um, and like I said, let's just, let's just create a circle here, and I'll show you the interpolation in here. So this is really good for video game stuff. Um, you can actually bring this down to low poly, export this out to Unity or whatever you're doing. Um, and you can bring this out in a pretty low poly. So let me just bring in this other shape here, this circle. Now, uh, with this circle selected, you can see now that I can change the interpolation. So I could have this pretty low and then turn up my smoothing groups and I end up with pretty low poly itself. 
All right, let's just get rid of that. And then the last thing is our, the way that we're building our sweep geometry itself. So if I was to just grab this center knot, move this out, you're gonna see that it's gonna re-topologize itself. There's a two corner knots and the center knot is a smooth. So if it needs to, it's gonna re-topologize to bend this object around. So you're gonna see the difference in that. If I go into the sweep itself, um, or sorry, if I go into the cyclone itself, I can up its interpolation as well. So. That's it for the distributed sweep tab. Um, for any other information, just ask some questions in our forum. Thanks a lot, guys. See you.